Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little something different. I am going to be comparing Bird Box the movie with Bird Box the book. I recently read the book by Josh Mallerman and this actually released in 2014 and it wasn't until more than four years later when the Netflix original film released and I actually saw the movie first. When it came out I watched the movie loved it. I also love Sandra Bullock. Um, I like this so much that I made my husband watch it. So I watched it twice within the span of like three days, I think. Like I watched it, then I tried to convince my husband, and then the next day we actually watched it. Something like that. Um, but my friend Jacqueline and several people have always said like if you liked the movie, you definitely have to read the book because it's different. It goes into more detail and stuff like that. So I just finished reading the book and I have a couple thoughts that I'm going to share with you today. I thought that the book and the movie were quite different uh, and other people were like, really? I thought they were quite similar. And some people may think they're similar, but I'm here to talk about the differences, which one is better, which one I liked more, which one I liked least. I'm gonna go ahead and say that there were things about the book that I liked and things that I liked about the movie. So there's just differences and it just depends like all what you like. But I definitely recommend that if you liked the book, you should watch the movie. And if you liked the movie, you should read the book. I said I did watch the movie twice and I watched that first um, and I just read the book this month so October 2020 I finally read this. The book is actually set in Detroit and the movie is set in Northern California. The book opens Mallory doesn't even know that she's pregnant and her and her sister Jessica go to a drugstore to get a pregnancy test. That's actually part of the whole plot. They go to the drugstore, how things are at the drugstore when they go home and she's actually like taking the test and stuff like that. Um, in the film, she already knows she's pregnant. Um, her sister actually like comes over to her apartment. She's like an artist painting and she like takes her to her OGBYN appointment. And there's stuff that goes down at that hospital and stuff like that. Um, so that brings me to the next part. Like there's no hospital, there's no doctor in the book. Um, and then how her sister dies is different from the book and from the film. Both are suicide, but just done in very different ways. So another thing is there's, so basically there's like a couple different things. There's like the before, and then there's like this house that they're holed up in like Mallory and other people for a while. So there's like that setting and then there's the river and then there's where they are at the end. So it's basically like four different kind of main things. So the main things before she gets to the house is, you know, uh, the OGBYN and she knows she's pregnant and all of that. And she's kind of very second guessing herself, like, is she going to be a good mom and stuff like that? Whereas in the other one, you know, she doesn't know she's pregnant. She just finds out the sister dies in different ways and stuff like that. So then it's the house part and how they get to the house obviously is different in the film and the book because in one, um, her sister has died. Things are kind of like uh, the area where they're driving through. There's kind of like a panic and, you know, stuff like that. And someone kind of like pulls her into the house. Whereas in the book, yeah, that definitely doesn't happen the same way. Then once you get to the house, um, in the book, there are Don and Jules, which are two of the housemates, whereas it was Charlie and Lucy in the film. So the names were different. And also Don, who I guess would be Charlie, um, definitely lasts longer than Charles does or Charlie does. Um, and then in the book, Tom, like, you know, Tom from the film, who I think had like a better role in the movie. Um, he had a much, much larger role in the movie than in the book. He's basically like the head of the house kind of, and he's looked up as kind of the leader. In the book, he actually dies while Mallory is giving birth. As in the movie, during the childbirth. Um, like I said, Tom had a much bigger role. There's kind of like this romance that blooms between Mallory and Tom. He, Mallory and the two kids survive and they become a family for like five years. 
and because of that they have no intentions of going anywhere or finding another place because they've kind of created a life for themselves and they're pretty happy with the way things are going. Are they perfect? No, but everything's working out. They kind of have a system for everything and everything's great until an accident happens and then Tom dies and then Mallory does get a call from the sanctuary inviting her there and yeah it just kind of goes from there. But in the book Tom dies so it's just Mallory and the kids left and so she trains the kids for four years um, for this journey down the river. The birds, I actually liked how it played a bigger role in the movie than in the book. In the book, um, when Tom and Jules go out on one of their little expeditions to find stuff, they bring back these birds and they hang them up outside to kind of alert of noise and things like that. The movie, I liked how the birds almost became like pets to Mallory and then the kids and they like took them along the river and then when you hear the sound of birds like that sort of thing where it was done really differently in the book because it was just like a, a motion censored uh, recording that would play and then that would alert them that they have made it to this you know part and then once this other thing happened they have arrived book had a little bit of a darker ending than the movie did because the book once they arrive at their final destination they see that people have permanently blinded themselves like on purpose to keep themselves safe from seeing the monsters and Rick the guy the final destination like tries to tell her like that's how we used to do things we don't do that do that anymore but that's kind of frightening because it's like do you do that? Am I really safe here? And in the movie, obviously, it's a little bit more hopeful. Uh, they get there and it's like a beautiful, like serene, like, oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. There's other kids for the kids to play with. There's other, you know, people and she bumps into someone. She bumps into her OBGYN and her doctor and stuff like that. So it's just a little bit more hopeful. In the movie, they actually do get out of the boat at some point. Uh, they do kind of come in to contact with maybe this like monster but we really don't know what it is but in the book they never get off the rowboat they are literally on the boat the entire time um things do happen you know to them and there is like the guy that's like shouting to them they do bump into things and you know things definitely happen but they never like actually like get out of the boat and they're not actually separated and you know all of that also I thought in the book the creepy guy that like gets in that has seen the monsters and stuff like that and I don't know if you saw in the film like he he's like drawing the pictures and he's like out to get everybody like he wasn't as scary in in the book and that was disappointing because that was like what was really scary to me is you trust someone and you bring someone in but then they're not a good guy so yeah I thought that was well done in the movie but it wasn't as scary in the book okay also I feel like in the book though you get more of the day-to-day -day living in the house I feel like we were in the house longer because it really lasted like almost the whole book because it kept flashing back to that so you got to see like what their daily chores were like what getting water from the well looked like um, you know inventorying their food and like I said they sent a couple people out on an expedition to find more food. In the book there's not a lot of physical description for obvious reasons because like they're blindfolded um, but you know that Mallory has like black hair and I think Tom was described as having auburn hair but that's really the only physical descriptions we get of people or really what things look like but obviously with the film you're able, able to see everything and the casting that they did in the movie I really appreciated that it seemed to be a very diverse cast whereas this one you don't really know like is it a diverse cast or is it not I mean we know at least that Tom is not black in the book because he has auburn hair so I don't really know but yeah I really appreciated like being able to see things and like let it play out visually for me. In the movie I thought that the kids were very scared. They were very like unsure. Uh, Mallory didn't feel like 
safe taking them along the river and she like said I am gonna have to choose because once they get to a certain point they have to like one of them has to look and that means take off their blindfold and like be able to direct them through this like part of the river and in the book there was no question Mallory was going to be the one to look so she never had that internal battle do I make him do I make her like there was never that battle but also um, in the book, she had trained them for four years for this journey down the river because basically everybody died at when she was giving birth. It was just Mallory and the two kids left. And she, um, she ended up hearing a phone ring and it was Rick calling from the sanctuary saying like, you know, you can come, this is what you have to do, and so forth. And it was really over several years that he would call and check in on her and let her know that they were still there and it was a safe place. But in the meantime, she was training the children and it went in depth a little bit about like certain things that she would do to train them and how to hear. And she would talk about how the boy was really in tune with literally everything that was going on he would know if how she was feeling based on you know the sounds that she was making or the way she was talking and he would say like she would do things like she would blindfold them and then she would do things around the house and then she would say like where did I go what did I do but he would go much more in depth of like every little thing like oh and then you paused and then you sighed and then you clicked your um, fingernail against your teeth and then you turn to left or you know like whatever like that um so he she trained the kids for four years to be able to finally make this journey whereas in the book because they were a family for five years tom mallory and the kids um they never had any plans to go along the river and it wasn't until after tom died that she finally was like okay like we're going and they kind of went right away maybe that's why there was a little bit more fear there in the movie so basically what i'm saying is is that there are a lot of similarities as far as like some of the characters and some of the settings but all the intricacies of and the ins and outs of how things happened and the flow of things and stuff like that, it was very, very different. Um, so yeah, obviously if you read this and you watch the Bird Box movie, you're gonna know that they're like the same thing. But I will say I rated Bird Box by Josh Mallerman four out of five stars and I think I liked the movie better. So there's that. But it also could be, like I said, I'm a more visual person when it comes to like movies sometimes. And I really love Sandra Bullock. And I really liked the character of Tom. But there were things about this that I liked better and seemed more believable as well. I definitely felt more fear I think in the movie just because I was seeing things happen and like the creepy vibes and the music and the sound effects and how they got off the boat and you know all of that but like I don't know both were really really good all of this to say that if you read the book and you have not watched the movie I highly recommend it and if you've watched the movie and you haven't read the book I highly recommend it. But let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section down below. Let me know which one you prefer, if you prefer the book or if you prefer the movie. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye!